and we are back with another unboxing. Surprise! <laughs> So here we are and we have Pojo Hori Manna today and we are going to start unboxing it. So let's take out one after another. Okay, so the first thing is I'm sure the food is amazing. Pojo Hori Manna is a very famous Bengali restaurant and um, considering we are getting so many offers from Bengali restaurants to do unboxing so i kind of showed everyone how to make steamed white rice the bengali way i have added pandan leaves in it uh, just to make it way more fragrant but if you don't have it it's good too and with that we have already got all the main course items out ansh are you excited yes I don't know what what all kind of things he does. So you're gonna take it all out one by one and open it up. So we have already taken out everything from the packets and look what somebody is doing. He's just enjoying his snack. Do you like the judi bhaja? Yes, I know. All right. So at home today we are having such a lavish spread. Look. That. It's it's almost looking like a smiley face. It's almost looking like a smiley face. Yeah, just like that. And starters. Yeah, the starters ka to humne video hi nahi liya. Ek minute. Just let me see. One sec. This is called fish fry. Mocha chop. Yeah. Fish fry. <gasps> Look at that. Ansh, we have fish fry also. Don't worry. But we are first trying the mocha chop. There is our very perfect bite. Mmm, it's amazing. Anj, how is it? Mmm, yum. Very nice. So I had just put it in the oven for a ten minutes, and I was uh, plating up all these things at that point of time. Um, it's got the crisp texture. Wow, this is bedki rong puri. Check that out. Now that is fish fry. Yes, that is fish fry. Why don't you give him the first taste? Guys? Okay, the second bite is a much bigger bite. So I think he is liking it. You can hand over the small piece. Oh, third bite, it's all over. How is it? It's good. The smell oh. is so good. Just a little bit of the sauce. Because their sauce is also very, very, um, you know, flavorful. If I can just focus. Yep. There you go. Mmm. Can you hear the crunch? It's that good. Mm -hmm. Anj has really liked it. As you can see, he's going for second, third, fourth. I don't know what. All right. So now we'll start with our main course. This is shukto. Shukto is basically a mishmash medley of a lot of vegetables. It's a very healthy dish. But of course. Shukto has come from a restaurant, so of course there will be a little bit of oil, a little bit of everything. It is made differently, and the food is rich. So here is a good bite. Why don't you feed Ansh? Ansh, <laughs> okay, stop doing that. <laughs> All right, have a bite of Shukto. It's very healthy. It's a good thing. Ansh, you being naughty. So it is a very healthy dish. We always make it at home. Uh, the only great part about shukto is that we use not a great part, like the only unique part of shukto, which makes it different from any other kind of mixed veg, is because we use bitter gourd in it. Definitely. So this is teto. Teto means bitter, and this is how we start our first main course. That's a perfect bite with a lot of vegetables here. Mm. Yum! It has pesto. It has ghee. Beautifully made. Now let's go for the doi bottle. 
so i'm i want to find out if they have stuffed anything inside or not so doi bottle came like this as you can see in one portion they've got two whole uh, parwal bottle means parwal and this is a great uh, dish from bengal and i would want everyone to taste it why because a lot of people lot of my vegetarian friends keep saying that uh, you know in bengali culture we don't have any uh, vegetarian food so that way i feel it is very important for them also to know about it what do you think ansh ansh is still thinking and look at what he is done so the reason why he is thinking is because he's already broken up a beast and he is scared because that is going to scold him so this is doi bottle hmm they have basically used the whole bottle and cooked it in a gravy which is made with curd pesto some char magaj maybe very rich dish but definitely a must try now next is chana dal na as you can see i have made a cross section now over here i kind of you know while i was plating up i kind of tasted it it does feel a little bit like bread to me i might be wrong uh and this is one portion of chana dalna so shan is like actually doing this chana dalna with the um, basundi pulao which is a great combination by the way any sort of uh, onion garlic tomato gravy with basundi pulao tastes wonderful so that is chana dalna how did you like it anj it does feel like cake it does feel like cake also na all right now comes the machhed matha diye dal looks good this is the full portion from which i have taken a little bit out and we have it with juri alu bhaja i think ansh is really waiting for this one hai na ansh oh look at that smile look at that okay 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 now have it how is it mm i'm having matcha matcha diye dal after so long It's so tasty. A definite must try for fish lovers from every part of India. It's very tasty. No, I don't. You li- you like the the fish fish, right? Mm. Mm-hmm. Then Anshu will not have the fish. <laughs> so he's choosy about his dishes, I guess. Now let's have Mangsho, Mangsho dark bungalow, along with Bashanti pulao. is being not the recipe calls for one egg to be served along with mutton curry the curry in itself would be a little on the spicier side and i'll just show you what a full portion looks like like this i've just broken down one of the pieces and broken down the egg and plated it up like so so bhojori manna is generally a um, sit down restaurant but during the covid everyone started delivering and this is how they are delivering and yes it looks wonderful why don't you feed us and it's a sit down restaurant means a restaurant that is sitting down okay and you eat while sitting down in the restaurant and she's like very concentration ke sath soch raha hai ki bhai kya bole Is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. I think it is wonderfully good only. <laughs> oh. Mangsho. Hmm, what do I say? It's very very tasty. Definitely. For anyone who likes having mutton So now it is time for us to try the Elish Bori Shah. So this is a very new um, Elish uh, recipe for me because I've never really heard about it. So in one portion, this is the portion they give you one piece, and uh, this is how Elish is. Elish Hilsa has a lot of fish bones, so you have to be very careful. 
about eating it. Now, generally, what we try to take out the bones uh, from our mouth itself. So, yep, that's a good bite. Hmm. And English is also a singer in America. Billy Eilish. Oh, Eilish. <laughs> she is Eilish, not Eilish. Okay, she is Eilish. <laughs> It's a nice dish, yeah. Ansh told us that he doesn't want to try Elish. Um, I've never really made it like this. It's quite spicy and it has a lot of coconut. The rest, I can only smell the fish Elish, which is which has its beautiful, amazing smell. So that is it, guys. This is how our beautiful thali looked and we all enjoyed. And Ansh is still kind of, you know, going for some bits of it. Uh, my husband is going for some bits of it. So now I, um, even my mouth is watering. Yeah, Let me also. also go, are going for some bit of it. <laughs> he came with the fish fry. Mm. No, even my mouth is watering. So let me have my lunch and get back to you with the desserts. Do not miss that.